The final stage of OFC qualifying for the FIFA World Cup will take place between the Solomon Islands and New Zealand in a two-leg playoff. The All-Whites will come up against a strong and technically gifted Benito side, who will be hoping to progress further in FIFA World Cup qualification than any other Pacific Island nation. On the last occasion these two sides faced each other, the All-Whites edged a 10-win after an 80-the-minute header by Luke Adams at the 2016 FC Nations Cup. The Solomon Islands have proved a tough nut to track in recent years, also earning a draw against the All-Whites at the 2012 OFC Nations Cup, as well as narrowly losing 43 in the playoff for third at the same tournament. Ahead of tonight's first leg at QBE Stadium in Auckland, here are five things to know about the Solomon Islands. The Benitos have never beaten the All-Whites since their first encounter against the All-Whites in 1980. The Solomon Islands have played 10 matches against New Zealand, losing 9 and drawing 1. The closest they have come to pulling off a result was in the group stages of the 2012 OFC Nations Cup when the match ended 11. A win to the Solomon Islands in either game of the two-leg playoff will mean they would have beaten New Zealand for the first ever time in their history have only played one team outside Oceania progressing to the next stage of the FIFA World Cup qualifiers would mean the Solomon Islands will not only become the first Pacific Island nation to make it that far, they would also square up against their first opposition in the South American region. Their first match against a side from another confederation came against Guam in 2011 at the Pacific Games. They have also come up against Australia but for FIFA World Cup qualification matches when the Socceroos were part of OFC. Notable players Solomon Islands veterans Benjamin Toto Rhee and Henry Ferrido have both had stints in New Zealand, as well as enjoying spells as professionals. Ferrido has played for a number of clubs in New Zealand and Australia including Nelson Suburbs, Canterbury United, Melbourne Knights, Faulkner Blues, Auckland City and Team Wellington to name a few. In 2005, he signed for a league side Perth Glory, which was his first and only professional footballing stint. Toto Rhee has likewise starred in New Zealand and Australia, as well as the United States. He has played for Waitakere United, Young Heart Manuatu and Oakley Cannons before spending time as a professional with Portland Timbers in Major League Soccer MLS and the Wellington Phoenix in the A-League. The Solomon Islands also feature Auckland City midfielder Michael Lealafa, former Canterbury United midfielder Akin Kaua and former Waitakere United forward Gagame Fenny in their current squad. Spanish influence Spaniard Felipe Vererarango is now at the helm of the Benitos and has led them to the brink of creating a new piece of history for the football mad nation. After beating Tahiti in November and squaring up to defeat Papua New Guinea home and away, the Solomons have progressed to face New Zealand in the final round of the OFC World Cup qualifiers. There was a further Spanish influence during the 2016 FC Nations Cup and it was a face familiar to New Zealand fans. Long-time Auckland City head coach Ramon Tribuliech was part of the coaching staff and would have brought some welcome nows after leading the Navy Blues through several impressive performances at the FIFA Club World Cup. Best result at a major tournament The Solomon Islands have only played in one major tournament, the OFC Nations Cup. Their best-ever finish was second place at the 2004 event when they ended one point above New Zealand in a round-robin tournament. They then played Australia in the two-leg playoff final where they were defeated 111 on aggregate. Australia then represented OFC at the 2005 FIFA Confederations Cup. Related Topics